I'm Dr. Suvarchla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Ziva Fertility is conducting a free camp for patients suffering from infertility. We are conducting this camp in the month of May on every Saturday at Kompalli, Sanatnagar, Banjara Hills and Manikonda. Included in this camp are free registration, consultation, counseling and semen analysis. Subsequent treatment options will also be uh, suggested to you and you can avail this opportunity. Hi, I am Dr. Suvarshla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Let us look at what instructions you must follow after an embryo transfer, which is very critical for your embryo transfer procedure to be a success. Well, the instructions also vary according to whether you are going to have a fresh embryo transfer or a frozen embryo transfer. Let's look at a fresh embryo transfer. Once your eggs have been retrieved, you um, are instructed to go back home with a list of medications. They could be antibodies, they could be painkillers, but most important is that you will also be required to take progesterone. They could be in the form of injections or vaginal tablets or patches or oral tablets. There could be in a lot more forms uh, based on your fertility specialist's uh, decision uh, because that depends on your endometrial lining and your requirement for progesterone. So please follow those instructions and you are required to take that for about 5 days to 6 days after your egg collection. This depends on what stage of embryo we are going to put back into your endometrium. Suppose we were to be putting back a day 5 embryo, you will be taking uh, progesterone for 6 days. Come back to the center, get the embryo transfer done on day 5 which is called a blastocyst stage and then you can go back home. But remember, these progesterone injections have to be continued until your doctor thinks right. Your doctor thinks that your pregnancy is going strong and you do not require an external progesterone induction. That is when they will decide to withdraw it. But until then, until your doctor decides so, please continue your progesterone medications. Now let's talk about a frozen embryo transfer. A frozen embryo transfer is when the embryos are created uh, after your eggs are retrieved but they are frozen because the doctor then decides to do it in a subsequent cycle it could be due to a number of reasons maybe you gave too many eggs and you went into something called ovarian hyperstimulation or you have a too thin an endometrium because of the dosage of medications there could be a lot of reasons or maybe you have some endometriotic issue inside your uterus there are some patients who want to do this procedure before cancer treatment so they get this done make embryos freeze them go for chemo and radiation and then come back for embryo transfer there could be a number of reasons for your frozen embryo transfer in such a case you are required to come back in the cycle that you want the embryo transfer on day two of your period or day three not not later than that and an estrogen medication is started this is basically for your endometrium to become thicker once it is growing in size and the right hormone levels are attained which is checked by blood test once it is reaching that stage progesterone is added to this estrogen medication which has already been given at that stage and when the doctor decides to do the embryo transfer we thaw the embryos which are frozen that is we warm them because they're frozen we warm them we then put them back into your endometrium now the instructions post embryo transfer are very simple continue your medication bed rest is not required because many studies around the world many robust meta-analysis have been done to see whether it was helpful and it has been concluded that bed rest is not required at all after embryo transfers yes do not eat outside because there is a chance of uh, contracting infections do not lift heavy weight all that is uh, regular but you can do your household work you can go back to work you can live a normal life after embryo transfer because remember um, this is a very uh, simple procedure. If you want to understand more about the IVF procedure and the embryo transfer procedures, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. We strive very hard to make these informative videos for you. Please encourage us by subscribing and liking our videos. Thank you.